Morning, everyone. Rachel here, and in this video, we're going to cover tools to ease through the AI specialist exam, the differences between this exam and the admin exam, some study resources, and how to know when you are ready to take the exam. I will do a quick refresh on ADHD specific study tips, which I cover more in depth in this video, but tailor them in the context of the AI specialist exam. My hope is that by the end of the video, you'll have ADHD-friendly study tips and a resource to ground you when distractions come up. I'm not going to focus a ton on the ADHD-specific study tips because uh, I really want to focus on AI specialist stuff, but again, we'll touch on it briefly here. And if you want more on that, you can watch the video that I made on how I pass the admin exam with ADHD. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe so you don't miss any trainings and connect with me on LinkedIn. Let me know what questions you have, what other videos you would love to see to help you in your Salesforce career. So first off, let's discuss some AI specific exam challenges. You might recognize some of these tools from that previous video that I mentioned, but listen closely because these are specifically for the AI specialist exam. The first one is to stick to what works and follow the three-part learning model that I'm gonna share with you that'll help you structure and plan it out ahead of time so you have a clear understanding of where you're going. This is anecdotally a huge ADHD superpower as well as a support to help you throughout the study process, that three-part learning model. The second one is don't overwhelm yourself and the importance of application in the three-part learning model. Tip one, stick to what works. The way that I and many other people that I've trained learn best is through foundational learning, guided application, and then free solo application. Trailhead can be great for guided and free solo application, but without the foundational knowledge, I found it to be really confusing. Originally, I started on Trailhead to try and gain that foundational understanding, but pivoted after I found myself treading water. The Trailhead modules had a little bit confusing naming conventions and the information, I wasn't quite sure how it was relevant to the exam specifically. Again, the naming was a little bit confusing like model builder versus model playground and call insights versus call explorer. I couldn't find a clear chart summarizing the differences between these things. And in my findings, Salesforce documentation also lacked the context that I needed for foundational learning specifics. It's not to say that those resources aren't helpful and valuable, but when I was really starting this out and trying to get a big picture of everything, it was just a little too much information all at once. However, the focus on force study guide and practice exams were invaluable for gaining that foundational knowledge. Now for the admin exam, my strategy was go through the trailheads for foundational knowledge take the focus on force practice test for each section, go through the focus on force study guide, retake the test and really drill down into the wrong answers so that I could have it that deep in foundational knowledge. And then I would go into the playground for free solo applications. I also made a Hogwarts playground that I created alongside a fitness custom application and really implemented each of those things from that base admin trail mix into my various orgs. For the AI specialist exam, I followed the same strategy, but replaced Trailhead with focus on four study guides for foundational learning, then Trailhead application for guided application, and my work simulations for free solo. Within focus on force, I kept my study structure very consistent. Study guide on one, it was here, <laughs> study guide on one screen with the mind map on the other. Each section followed the same pattern. Overview, features, scenarios, use cases. After finishing a section, I reviewed all the mind maps briefly to reinforce key concepts. I'm not sure if this is super relevant or not. It's not backed up by learning science, but what I like to do is review in reverse order. So for example, if I had just finished the agent force study guide section, I would go backwards and I would go from, I would go into the prompt builder and then I would go into the overall tools. For whatever reason, going backwards helped. And then when I was starting the next study session, I would review the mind maps from the top. So I went backwards and forwards, depending on if it was reviewing at the end of the session versus the beginning of the next section. 
Second part is to don't overwhelm yourself. There's a lot of features to understand, each with different use cases and subtle nuances. Don't try to learn deeply all at once. Um, sorry, do try to learn deeply all at once instead of getting a broad overview and then going deep. I did find it useful to just know the names of all of the things, to have that up front, but I didn't try to learn a little bit all of them at once. It was get a broad overview and then drill down deeply. Know what each AI tool does. Agents, prompt builder, sales and service tools, and know scenarios because Salesforce loves those scenario-based questions on the test. My exam didn't have any multi-select questions. I haven't validated that that's true for everybody, but I would assume so, but that made it easier to eliminate wrong answers because I didn't have to say, you know, choose three, right? The third part is apply, apply, apply. Hands-on essential experience. The two key approaches that worked for me were simulations, and this helped me to understand core features and then force myself to create my own use case. Create those use cases and then independently practice them in an org. Trailhead modules can be helpful, again, but if you want to do that, uh, that guided application in Trailhead, copy and paste the instructions and then go and do that free solo application. That's really where the learning happens is connecting those dots and forcing your brain to produce instead of just passively like take it in, which again, that's an important step in that three-part learning model, but it's not the end all be all. And then work scenarios. I had the unique privilege of overseeing a lot of different work simulations that involved Prompt Builder and Agent Force during my work at Clicked. We worked together to solve real business problems for Delta Airlines. I made the scenario, the tasks, and the use cases, and then I went and built it. And that really forced me to think outside the box and troubleshoot. And there was a team working alongside of me, a lot of other learners, which made the free solo application less daunting. You don't have to learn it alone. If you don't have access to something similar, then create your own scenarios using ChatGPT. Ask it to design Salesforce AI scenarios and practice building them. You will learn if the scenario is good or not as you go along. You will learn if ChatGPT gives you a good use case or not. And that's also very valuable. Now, finally, how to know when you're ready. Take the focus on force practice tests. Have you taken them all and thoroughly reviewed the wrong answers? Visualization. Can you picture the tools and the settings and the workflows in your mind? Are you able to see the prompt builder in the various sections? Are you able to see you know, that button grayed out if you don't fill the, the resources in while you're iterating with the prompt? And then finally, brain dumps. Write everything you know down from memory. And if you struggle to recall key tools or purposes of those tools, then just revisit those areas and brush it up. To summarize key takeaways, what we talked about was understanding the unique challenges of the AI specialist exam, identifying study strategies, prioritizing hands-on experience, using structured self-assessment tools to confirm your readiness, all using that three-part learning model of foundational learning, guided application, and then free solo application. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for staying put with me to the end and good luck on your AI specialist exam.